Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, Bitcoin continues to move sideways. Unfortunately, it never broke the trend line. Yeah, even we, even though we saw yesterday here another red candle and it came down, um, it's still doing a little bit of aimless sideways movement. And also, um, I just checked the S&P 500. In the end, it jumped up and down yesterday. And um, in the end, we are there where we left yesterday. Because yesterday at this time we talked about the S&P 500 as well. So also here aimless sideways movement. And that often gives us an idea that we could be in some sort of a wave four. So let's talk because I won't take a look at the wider structure in this video. We did that yesterday extensively. What I would like to talk about is just here sort of possibilities for this sideways structure. Talk about the key support levels and talk about what happens if we drop below the 22.5k um, level, which is the wave four low here from the 30th of January, because it did have the wave four as a possibility here before. Yeah, these were the two possibilities. It can't be this one anymore, because this move down is just too strong, okay? It basically retraced more than 100% of the wave one. Therefore, we have to have it here. Anybody who asks, you know, why is this a three wave move up? Well, because it could easily become a um, a leading, uh, sorry, an ending diagonal. Yeah, an ending diagonal in a wave five has three sub waves of each of the five waves. Um, however, it is also difficult to trade it. It is not so reliable. And that is why um, I highlighted any long trades here are, while well, completely reasonable, a little bit questionable as well because they are more risky because the move up was not impulsive it was only corrective which yeah surely could be part of an ending diagonal but it could also just be part of a larger triangle or something so you know don't get too hung up on the lower degree wave count i don't think it will definitely tell you what's going to happen there are several possibilities um probably yeah i don't know eight nine possibilities how you could draw this up how you could label this but it's not really about that. It's really about understanding the key pivot points, the decision points. And yeah, Bitcoin has actually dropped below it. Now it's fighting with it. It's fighting with what was support before, as you can see here, our Fibonacci support. It's now fighting with it as resistance. It's basically sandwiched between the uh, previous support and now resistance area and the ascending trend line of the ascending broadening wedge, which is overall a bearish pattern. Um, so again, it's completely reasonable still to expect here a five wave move up in yellow, in wave five of three, after which we could come down in a wave four. However, as I said, if we break below support, we will have to move the third wave here, the fifth wave here, and uh, the reason we can do that is because this has fulfilled the minimum expectations of the fifth wave. So it is all done, it doesn't need to go any higher. And that, that is typically when I start to see that um, I should take profits, which is why I took profits last week. And when we were a bit higher, I did that because whenever I see a very shallow fourth wave, which is not reliable, and I see a wave five, which has fulfilled minimum expectations, I start to take some profits, which is what I did. And um, I'm going to take more profits should we go higher and I will um, buy in again should we go lower. That's sort of the strategy. At the moment, it's just aimless sideways move. I and mean, this is perfect for a grid bot. Um, that's perfect for a grid bot, even to trade the range here all the way down to the wave four or even to a possible wave, whoops, to a possible wave two. Yeah, because um, this would be an interesting range to, to deal with. However, so the move up is still possible. It's I cannot rule it out, but of course it's getting less likely with the drop below support and confirming basically the previous support area for resistance. I mean, can you see that it acted previously as support? Now it's acting as resistance. So it's completely acting from the other way around. And um, that's why we've got the bearish count on the chart which we could understand possibly here as a three and four. I mean, this is the bullish, let's call it bullish count with one more wave up. The blue one is the count I introduced yesterday, which is rather bearish. I mean, okay, not so bearish. It just means we are gonna go into the wave four support and should then rally in a fifth wave afterwards. 
Now, ideally, I would have liked to see a stronger um, third wave, but it doesn't necessarily need to be that strong. It could very well be that the third wave finished. Let me take the yellow cow to the side so you don't get confused. And I might make that just for this video in white. Um, that the third wave finished here because you can count five waves down. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. And then because of the sideways action, I mean, this could easily be of a fourth wave. So again, here, sideways movement could indicate that this is um, just a wave four. But again, we don't know at this stage. Um, wave four could unfold as a triangle. We only have three waves really. So it's a little bit too early to speculate about that, but a triangle would unfold as an A wave, a B wave, a C wave, a D wave, and an E wave. The E wave would then peak where the wave four was and it would then break down eventually. And um, with such a triangle, you have a confirmation that the triangle is valid and is breaking into the expected direction as soon as it breaks below the B wave low, and that is at 22,650. So we have key support around 22,650, that's micro support, and then the relevant support is here as well, 22,500. These two levels are the new support, but it's, yeah, it's, it you know, those sideways counts or those micro counts don't give you really an edge at the moment because it could be a lot of stuff, okay? So it's just a benefit of the edit wave method to recognize that different variants are possible here, which means if you're trading, you have to face headwinds we had a similar situation down here when we had that choppy movement, yeah? You, you're going to face headwinds, so don't be frustrated if suddenly the market goes not into the direction if you take any trade. Um, so you're going to do that. But So when you enter a trade, you need to know that. And it might, you know, the edit waves tell us here that it might be time for a lower position size. It might be time to take profits depending on your situation. It might be time to take less or no leverage. You know, these are sort of the things that come out of this you know, situation when you have different wave counts which are possible. If you have two counts, that's fine. You might have a 70-30 probability. If you have three or four counts, and you know, you can label that in different ways. You know, I can even label this maybe as another one-two setup. And so if you have more than two counts, you know, it, it makes probabilities very, very difficult. And therefore, sometimes it's just worth just to sit on the sidelines just to watch. But that depends so much on your individual situation because a lot of people then ask, you know, okay, you have two or three counts. How do I know the, the correct, the, which one is the correct one? Well, you don't, right? You can only trade when you have a good setup. And um, if you have, for example, two counts that point into the similar direction, that might give you an edge. If you have a very, very low risk, high reward setup um, for one count, it might give you an edge. Yeah. And it, if it fails, you have, you take the alternative. But here it's just extremely difficult. I mean, here as well, you could, you know, you could go long if you want to, to trade the third wave because we are so deep in support that um, you might as well try it. But that depends on your personal situation, right? I mean, I already took profits in Bitcoin, so I'm not really interested anymore in, in this choppy sideways action um, to the upside. And um, you just need to know that you're facing headwinds. This is not a clear impulse anymore. Um, it's not like this, yeah, where we had several entry points along the way. And impulses are always, they make our life easier. Corrections make it very difficult for traders, investors. And then you need to know that we are in a very difficult situation anyway. I did post that for Telegram members a couple of days ago. We are, you know, trend reversals versus trading a trend are the most difficult situations to trade. And we are currently either in a trend reversal from a bear market into a bull market or we are at the verge of the trend that's possibly changing is going to be changed again. Yeah, it's failing. So exactly there, we, we are in a very difficult situation. Yeah, so um, that's why you see this choppy sideways action. That's why the market tries to do so many things at once. And also no elite wave count or analysis is going to predict to you what's definitely going to happen. The market will decide that what you can control is your entries and your exits, your risk and your portfolio. And you need to focus on these decisions. Control what you can lose, you know, and not so much on what you can make. Um, take profits along the way and just control what you lose. Risk management is so important in the current situation, especially as risk increased after we increased here um, did, 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 around about 40%. But only you can make that decision for yourself, right? Um, what does it mean for your portfolio, you know, and just answering a question, you know, is it good to buy or sell now is impossible. What is right for one person 
might be wrong for the other. Okay, but that's sort of where we are in terms of the price and the Bitcoin structure. Um, hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.